All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to unlock the brand new resilient skin for Rey, which is the hooded appearance from this update. For those of you that haven't figured it out yet, it is quite difficult to do. There's a number of steps that you have to actually go through to unlock this skin. So I'm gonna go through all the steps right now because a lot of people are having tons of trouble trying to figure it out. And I've actually figured it out myself. So I'm gonna take you through every single step right now. Anyways, guys, if this video does help you out, be sure to leave a big thumbs up on it as it does help support the channel. And I hope you guys get some out of this video by unlocking the new Ray skin. Anyways, if you guys load into co-op on Takodana, and yes, this does have to be done online, so co-op I found is the best way to do it. I tried doing it in instant action as well, which is why some of the gameplay is filmed on instant action, but I couldn't actually unlock it at the final step, so it does have to be done in co-op. Anyways, on the left side of the Takodana castle, you will find some markings on the wall, which basically translate in Oribesh to the pirate is hiding something, and by the pirate, they're referring to Hondo. Now, there's a painting of Hondo upstairs in the castle in the top room so you guys have to go in there shoot the painting and a little coin will drop out once you've done that the coin will drop out and you can take that with you so once you've grabbed that you want to head over to the left side of the map where the slave one is parked where the slave one's parked on the mountain just next to it there are three boxes that you can interact with you need to interact with the right one first then the left one and then the middle one once you've done this you can move on to the next stage of this task if you have a look at the lights up the top they are flashing they're flashing fire five times on the left, zero in the middle, and then one on the right, meaning the 501st. This is the next clue. So you head back to the castle. Once you get to the castle, there is a 501st flag on the left side. You need to go up the stairs to the top of the castle on the outside and find that 501st flag again. Once you get up there, you need to actually jump onto the pole, which can be a little bit tricky. I found that holding square or whatever your interact button is while you're doing this can help you out because if you do happen to miss that pole, then you can still possibly interact with it on the way down. But if you've got good footing you can land straight on top of that pole and interact with it and that will unlock the next part of the challenge now once you've done this you can actually hear the vault opening up downstairs you can go downstairs to where ray finds the lightsaber in the force awakens and this room is now available to be opened all you have to do is hold your interaction button on that it will open up and you walk inside and you will receive the milestone complete for this challenge and you will unlock the brand new resilient skin for Ray, Like I said at the start of the video, a ton of people have been having issues with this and really struggling with it. So I hope this video helped you guys out. It's not a super long one, but I think it's gonna be helpful to a lot of people. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, do leave a big thumbs up and comment down below what you think of this skin. Do you think it was worth all the trouble of trying to find it and going through all these steps? Or do you think it should have been done with a different sort of challenge similar to the Darth Maul skin? Speaking of the Darth Maul skin, for those that don't know how to unlock it, you need to get 5,000 kills with Darth Maul. I think the best way to do this is probably going to be co-op as well so I'm going to jump in and try and unlock that so I can get a gameplay showcase out for you guys at some point in the next day or two but anyways stay tuned to the channel for more future Battlefront 2 videos turn on post notifications if they're not already and I will see you all very soon thank you all for tuning in and may the force be with you always Sif.